Hey guys and welcome back to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 11 of Let's Play Yesterday Origins. In the previous episode, we uh, we found a letter and we found some glasses. That's it, spectacles. And we're going to use it. I thought we could use these with this. Maybe we can use it as it would allow you to see and remain unseen if it weren't for missing a mirror. I mean, it's not a mirror, but maybe these. You examine it closely with a periscope, but you find nothing of interest. Oh, well, that's a shame. I thought that's exactly what we had to do. Well, let's 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 have a look at the glasses then. The spectacles that make everything appear exceptionally large, Ezekiel. Oh, so we we probably have to use them as glasses to look at stuff. What can we look at? What is what is there that's tiny that we can't see? Is there anything? Let's have a look at this letter. After looking through the glasses, you find nothing that wasn't visible at plain sight. Oh, so we just we basically just have to use it as a magnifying glass. Let's have a look at the rope doesn't feel like we need to look at a rope to be honest find nothing about that nothing there well, apparently I can't look at the bit of wood let's look at the salt we find nothing and the compass let's look at the glasses you find nothing well I am back to, <laughs> to stage one um, I'm gonna to talk to Ezekiel and say here's your glasses mate See if he um, see if he tells me anything. See if he says keep them. Probably won't. Father Ezekiel said you could use any of his possessions to f find the stolen letters. So this is not the time to give things back. Okay, we don't have to give that to him. Uh, I want to talk to him about anything. Um, rope, chisel. Can I borrow the chisel? I can borrow the chisel. Let's let's talk about the tear again. Oh, we can't. The key. No, the windows. Oh, windows. You tell Ezekiel everything you recall about the stained glass windows in the secret library. Ezekiel thinks for a moment, touching his beard as he does. Hmm. He mumbles several theories but can't pinpoint a specific place. He needs another hint. He needs a... Oh, ooh, did we do this last time? I feel we might have done this last time. Um. I have no idea. Tear, key. No, he needs a hint. He needs a hint. Um, let's show him the compass. Let's show him the salt. Let's show him the wood. Oh, show him the wood. I gave that spool to Brother Giuseppe. A very fine, almost invisible, yet resistant thread. It must have had about ten meters left when I gave it to him. But it seems he used it up. Okay. Oh, we have a thread down here now. Let's ask him about the thread. Oh, we can't. Um. Okay. I feel like we need the glasses to find... Like Sherlock Holmes with a magnifying glass, find something. And also, what was the other thing we needed to do? Windows, key. What was the key to? Key was to. The key was to the secret library. Right, okay. What am I doing? What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? Where, where can I find. I mean, what am I looking for? Letters, aren't I? I'm looking for letters. Um. Maybe I'll go and see if I can snoop around to Rubio's desk. Let's have a look and see if we can use... Oh no, we don't do it like that, do we? Oh, there's nothing like... Maybe I'll click on him and then just use the glasses like that. No. Um... Ah, uh, oh, what's this? Could you spy on Trivia from somewhere? Yes, I've already tried to do that. Let's stab him. No, it was a bit harsh, really, wasn't it? Oh no. Um, well, we've got this thread here that we can talk to about. We need to find some thread. He said there was ten meters. Ten meter thread. Where could a ten meter thread be? There's nothing here. That's the bell. There's no... There's no thread, is there? Click on the candles. See if there's a thread. Because he mentioned... He mentioned it. Terubio was doing this. Not Terubio. Giuseppe was doing something. Yeah, there you go. Two nights ago, after one of your recurring nightmares, you went to the scriptorium only to find Giuseppe descending from the lamp. 
Maybe don't tell us so. We'll have a good laugh tomorrow. I'm going to make brother Botillo lose some weight. Lose some weight. You hadn't remembered that until today. Okay, maybe we can have a look at that. No. Use the periscope with it? No. Maybe the thread. Windows. I feel like... I mean, what do you mean lose some weight? Let's use the rope with that. Hmm. There's something there. There's something there, but I can't figure it out. Um, there was nothing else on the desk, was there? That's where we got the spool of thread from. Maybe we use this. Maybe we... There's nothing there. Maybe we use that. Oh, could the invisible thread still be under Giuseppe's desk? Maybe, but you can't see it at a glance. You can't see it at a glance! It's slotting together like a jigsaw puzzle, surely. Surely we can use this now. Oh my word, Adventure Game 101. I mean, it's not 101, but surely this is right. There's nothing there. Oh, there is something there. You find one end of the invisible thread hanging from the ceiling and almost touching the wood. You gently pull on the thread and... Oh, that's going to make that guy go, isn't it? Because that's the bell from Hines. And then we can, we can snoop around his desk. We can leave an E under his table. Let's do that. It's doing it automatically. I can't do anything. Oh no. Who would leave Search Toribio's desk but find nothing? And after no more than a minute, he's going to come back, isn't he? Oh well, that was annoying. I mean, can I, can I do that again? Can I just make him keep going back and forth and back and forth? That's what I mean by losing weight, didn't he? Back and forth, of course. Right. Don't go there automatically. Let me do something. He's not. He's, oh, he's doing it automatically. I want to leave the little E under there. Oh, hurriedly, you search the books on the shelf just in case. You barely have time to look when suddenly... I'm going to do it a third time. In case there's something else. No, he's back. Right. Come on then. Let's do it a third time. And this time we'll search the drawers, maybe. For whom the bell tolls. Yes? No? Yes? Oh, it's the same! Oh. Hurriedly, you search the books on the shelf, just in case. You barely have time to look when suddenly... Right, so... I can't actually do anything. So every time I pull it, he just goes, but then he automatically goes there and, and looks at stuff and says, I can't do anything. Wow. Let's talk to him, see if he's getting annoyed about the fact he has to get up and down. Let's look at talk to him, I mean. No, there's nothing here. They're all... We asked you about... Here? Somebody stop... No, I didn't. I'm sure... That yeah, we've asked all about that, and they've all got ticks next to them, so yeah, that's that's it. Oh, that is annoying. Maybe we click on him and we use the thread. This thread. Oh, the thread's gone. I guess I guess we've I guess we've done that puzzle. Hmm. You could give it to him or even drop it under his desk, but it's the last letter E. Why would you want to do that? I guess why would I want to do that? Because there's a tear. Because of the windows, because of the key, because of the glasses. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, well, I thought I'd got something then. I mean, what is the actual point in all that? What's the point of him going back and forth and back and forth? I'm going to do it one more time, just in case he just gets really miffed. I'm not spending all episode ringing a bell. Come on. No, it's, it's not letting me do anything. That's a shame. 
I'm pretty much... Let's have a look at the bell. Yeah, the rope comes through a hole in the wall that leads to Hino's study. Okay. If you toll it from there to reveal, no, it's not Hino's who's calling. I know, well, we've done that. Can we use... Let's see if we can use... I'm going to try and use the the letter on him. Haven't I not just done this? Yeah, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? Because of... I don't know. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. So what's the objective still? The objective... Go. Let's peel back the layers. The objective is to find out the letter. Where the letters are. Somebody has taken the letters. Where could the letters be? Okay. Anything over here? Can we have a look at these candles? Because he said he mentioned that uh, Hines used pepper dust and yeah, it chaos ensued. So maybe we have a look at them. Oh, no. The good the good thing about the first game is that there was a little hint button, but there is no hint button in this game. There is a hotspot. Let's click on the hotspot finder. Door, candles. Yeah, all the usual stuff. Um, we need a little mirror to make the periscope work, don't we? I'm not sure where to go. Oh, this is really annoying. Can we... Can we even look at ourselves? There's not a tear on our body, is there? Maybe it is me. I just didn't even know. Oh, what's that? The rule of St. Francis calls for a certain number of knots on the braided belt. A missing knot in the belt of an observant, such as Terribio, reveals something else is missing in him. Intelligence. Maybe we have to talk to him about that then. Nothing's ripped on me, is it? No. Nothing's ripped. Let's have a look at my hood. Didn't he say he put stuff in my hood? Maybe I've got something in my hood. I haven't looked here. According to the Franciscan rule, the hood must not be so large as to cover one's face. If you had to go out in this freezing weather, you'd be thankful this weren't the case. Oh, I was, oh, I was hoping that there was something in my hood. Oh, my head. The visible mark of your first clerical rank, the beginning of your path towards the something order. I, I clicked too fast. According to the Holy Mother Church, the tonsure must not be smaller in size than a silver coin. In Santa Brigada, they like it to be on the safe side. <laughs> Right, okay, let's go to the past again. Let's go to when Giuseppe died. Because, I don't know. Let's see. We've already, done, we've already looked for the rips on the clothes, haven't we? But let's just go through it, see if there's anything extra. Right, we've asked him everything. This is Giuseppe. I'm assuming we can't ask him about about the um the thread, seeing as it's in the past. Right, he's done. Was there another guy in here? Where's Ezekiel? Uh, in to if talking to Ursus, Ursus in real life is often useless. Imagine talking to him in memories. <laughs> Am I right, my dear Ursus? That's fair enough. Right. Is there anything in this room? Because I, I don't I actually don't really feel like I've investigated this room too much. Let's just take it a bit slower. Well, we look to the window. Let's click on the window and see what it says. Try as you may, you don't remember having seen these stained glass windows anywhere in the monastery. Perhaps someone else has. Okay, we've got that down there. We've got it down there. Book, candles, ink, another book. Oh, is that the book or is that the guy? That's the guy. Books, candles, candles. Oh, I'll click on that candle. Oh, when focusing on the back area of the library, you recall a faint melody. Choir. Hymns. The good news is that knowing that the chapel is near, is near reduces the search area considerably. I can find it. The bad news is that the area is still enormous. I won't be able to find it. Oh, no. Um, okay. Right, let's go here. 
And now I feel like we can ask. Because we asked Ezekiel, didn't we, about the windows? And he says he needs another He needs another um, clue. There's your clue. A bunch of singing monks. It's the monkeys. I apologise for that joke. As it was coming out of my mouth, I felt I felt bad about it. Right, let's go to choir. You tell Ezekiel of your recent findings. In the secret library, you could hear the hymns of the night prayers. Ezekiel thinks for a moment. Touching his beard, he mumbles several theories, but can't pinpoint a specific place. He needs another hint. Windows. Wait a second. Those windows. You could hear hymns. Ezekiel looks at his floor plan and finds the spot. If I'm not mistaken, it must be in the east wing of the abbey. The door has to be... Hmm. That's strange. It should be where Paolo de San Leocadio's painting is. Ezekiel is right. There's no door here or is there? Come on, this is an adventure game. Of course there's a door. A shackle like any other you could lay your eyes on. Reminds you of your short stay with the Inquisition. Uh, glass rope. You tie the rope around the shackle to pull with all your might to no avail. Oh, we chiseled it, didn't we? Apparently we didn't. Key. Tear. E. Aha, this thing. This thing. No? Salt? Oh, what? No way. What did we do with the shackle? We had a shackle. We had a, we had a key. Anyway. That's how we got the shackle off, wasn't it? We got the key. Well, that's annoying. Let's have a look. What else is here? One of the many baptismal fonts given to Santa Brigada by the Chancellor of Castile. Let's have a look in here. Beneath a thick layer of ice, there is a small ornamental plaque, possibly made of silver. Chisel it out. You strike the ice with the chisel, but it's just too thick. Okay, can we smash it with this? You search for the small cracks in the ice. There are none. Maybe we make a crack with this. You attempt to puncture the ice with the, with the compass fails. On top of that, the point of the compass bends, so you straighten it out on the edge with the font. Salt. Salt works on ice, doesn't it? You pour some sea salt over the ice, and after a tedious wait... Ah, brilliant! You pull up your sleeves and try to strip off the silver plaque with your bare hands. Nothing, it won't budge. Let's chisel it out. Levering it with the chisel, you manage to pull out the plaque. Nice well. Can we have a look at it? What is it? Tarnished silver. Can we use anything on it? Chisel? What's that? Oh, that's a plate of salt. Tarnished silver. Um, what can we use tarnished silver for? You know why I'm in a monastery? I sanded down the handle of a torch holder at my father's house and split the wood in two, but used molasses to hold it together. When one of father's concubines put a torch in it, the torch holder broke and the torch fell onto her. She survived, but never again did father wish to lie with her. Oh, okay. So, is this, is this, this can't be the same one, surely. That's just a picture. Can't do anything with that. Fair enough. What else can we have a look at? In fact, let's just have a look at this again. We've obviously got to look at the picture. I'm just going to have a look down here. There we go. There's something. The coat of arms of Don Pedro Lopez de Ayala, Grand Chancellor of Castile and Benefactor of Santa Brigada. Uh, chisel that off. Oh, no. Look at it. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to click on that, but it seems to have worked. Upon closer inspection of the wolf, a word you've never heard before comes to mind. Fenrir. Chisel it off. If you were to pull out the coat of arms and sell it on the market, Don Pedro Lopez de Ayala would pull out your liver and sell it in the market. Okay. Um, chisel? Oh, that's not a chisel, that's a compass. Uh, rope. E. 
So Fenrir. Anything else down here? I feel like I've heard that name before. Okay. Well, we can't click on the water or anything. Let's have a look at this picture then. The Gates of Hell, painted by Paolo de San Leo Cadio. Leo Cadio? Let's have a look at this. They seem like the fangs of an enormous leviathan. You recall one of your favourite verses from Dante's Inferno, which you read recently. All hope abandon ye who enter here. Can we use that with it? No. Chisel it? Look at it closer. You wonder if the painter hid a secret message in between strokes. Try as you may, you can't find it. Can we stab it? No. Okay. Oh, that looks important. Just a small metal plaque. Really? Just a small metal plaque. Let's have a look at it close, please. You study the frame carefully in search of a secret message. If it's there, it's a good one. That really looks like it's important. You stick the sharp end of the compass between the plaque and the painting and... Yes. Look at that. Uh, let's click on it again and have a look at it. Against door logic, the keyhole is on the frame. Key... We haven't got a key, have we? You tried to stick the tip of the chisel between the plaque and the frame, but it's too thick. Let's try and use this again. Even though previous experience dictates that this compass can evoke keyholes out of thin air, you decide one is enough. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, this metal thing. No. Um, can I use the chisel on this? I didn't, oh, no, I mean on the circular thingy. Um, maybe this? No. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at this disc. Tarnished silver. And use this on it. Oh, I can't. Maybe use this on it? The small silver plaque would fit in the space created for the mirrors, but the surface is so tarnished it wouldn't reflect a thing. How can we make it less tarnished? Do we have any kind of polish or anything maybe the water although it's, it's just come from the water isn't it um let's look at this one you know why i'm in a monastery i send it down when one of father's con she survived right that's can't click on that one either right let's click on this thing no Hmm, right, so we have a, a small circular disc which we need to shine up. How could we do that? Is there anything anywhere? I'm kind of thinking maybe back in my dorm there might be that banded, the, um, the bandana that we wore around our face. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Let's go try that quickly. We got the time. If I can still click on it, because it seems to, if I click on it, it seems to, yeah, you can't actually click on it. Ah. Um, what about these then? What about feathers? I mean, that's not going to help, is it? After giving it some thought, you decide that there's nothing in your desk that can help you in any way. Okay. Oh, how about? Let's use this. Use me, and then let's use. I want to use this on me to like. No, I can't. What about my cuffs? You know how you just. It's if your glasses are dirty and you just. <laughs> and then rub it. Yeah? Not going to happen. Right, okay. Um, oh no, did he say about a gold coin as well on his head? Like the same, same size. Turn around, turn around. Yeah, there's his head. And then click on that. No, nothing. It was stretching. Right, so we have a coin. Well, it's not a coin, it's a bit of silver. And we found out where the door is, but we can't get in. So how are we gonna how are we gonna polish this to put in this? Hmm. 
we're going to figure all that out in the next episode, guys. I feel like we're coming along today. Again, it's um, it's a long ass, long, long ass. Don't know where that came from. It was a, it's a long time in this monastery. Kind of missing the present. I'm enjoying this place, but I'm ready to go. So the quicker we get out of the next episode, the better. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Whatever it is you're doing right now, take care.